what the hell was that that I just watched? I don't like it. I don't understand it. That is right, friends. I just finished watching The Witcher, and I want to know what the hell did I just watch? That was crazy. Somebody's got to explain some of this to me. What's going on with the writers? I'd like to apologize. I did a terrible video on The Witcher where the sound was all bad, and some of you may have watched it, so I'm going to redo the video. I'm going to do a little bit different. Just going to rant a little bit. Just want to get some things off my chest. So that way we can come to an agreement. And for those of you who did enjoy the show, I don't. I know Henry Cavill's great, and a lot of the cast, or at least some of the cast, is pretty good. And the source material is great. And he looks great, and I like watching him fight some monsters. I wish I had him fighting more monsters. But that's not exactly what we got. But I do want to just ask at least one or two questions. First of all, why in the last three episodes is Geralt sidelined for the entire thing and he gets beat up by the lamest wizard i ever seen and that whole scene with the wizard was totally lame but i was under the impression that they were hyping up this wild hunt and i don't know that much about sapkowski's witcher books i just don't and i never played the game so maybe i'm missing something who was the wild hunt they hyped them up at the end of the second season they showed up for one scene where they disappeared. They tried to grab Siri, and then they're gone. What was that? Well, I don't even know what they were. They look like some dudes riding horses that just disappeared. Did I fall asleep? Did I miss something? Please explain it in the comments below, because there was there was no fight with the Wild Hunt. Like I thought that was a thing, and nobody else is talking about it. I had to go back to an article from. This is from April of 2023. People getting ready to watch this season, and there's no who. It's not. They're not in it. It's not even a thing. So anyway, let's look at some other stuff. The Witcher ended. It it, it ended messily. They go to prom. Like that can't be in the book, can it? I mean, I get it. If there's a quorum of wizards and they want to talk about things and stuff, and I. I just, I just don't understand what this is. And there's no way Netflix, they seemingly did not understand that he was leaving the show. So I'm super concerned. I, I didn't enjoy it. I, I don't really get it. It's very confusing. Henry Cavill's leaving. And the writing, yeah, just now they're coming out. And the and the producers blaming young American viewers <laughs> that they're too stupid to watch the show and understand what's going on. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what is going on? Hey, <laughs> this, funny, this, this is pretty funny. Uh, this is an article from Kutaku, who I almost never agree with, Alyssa Mercante. And she goes, there were far too many times when I asked aloud, who was that again? I swear to you, I did the exact same thing. I remember there's Jennifer, Jennifer of Ingeberger, there's Geralt of Rivia, there's a music guy who sings, there's Siri, there's some evil dude. I think his name's Amir. I haven't seen him be too evil. And then there's some other people. And I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know what's going on. And the, there's an entire episode of Siri just walking through the desert, chasing a unicorn, and it doesn't pay off. There's no payoff for it. And I don't understand. She names herself something different. I don't. I. I. I, I don't know. What? What's? Th this person's excited about a fourth Siri-led season. The show is called The Witcher, not Siri. It's not called Falca. <laughs> confused viewers why does siri call herself falca i don't understand what is going on and on top of all that the final two episodes are the lowest rated episodes ever this is from forbes magazine and when forbes says it you know people aren't messing around because the mainstream media is not covering for them anymore woof 
the episode seven onto the fire and into the frying pan what a terrible name for an episode and episode eight the finale the cost of chaos are the two lowest rated episodes by imdb 4.2 out of 10 and 5.3 out of 10 it's just it's just bad i don't understand what is going on here i mean the overall score for the series is 8.1 but they, they're just no people don't like it i i don't see how hemsworth is going to save this either oh this is a mess i could go on and on ranting about this because there's like terrible editing there's mistakes they reuse the same set there's a part, and I just want you to think about this, before the big battle in episode 6 or 7 where Geralt fights the magician guy whose name I don't know, who's married to the wizard lady who I don't know, and Siri and him walk into a cave by the ocean, and there's a boat in the background, and when, you, when they walk in, Geralt's like, I gotta go see if it's crazy out here, or there's something in here. He, his necklace tingles. I thought it tingled for monsters. It didn't tingle. I don't know what it was tingling for. But when they, when he walks all the way around the cave and comes back, Siri leaves the cave, and the dude is literally standing where Siri left. You can see the boat in the background again. The wizard dude standing there with his pole and then his pole disappears and then it reappears because i guess they wanted to do some cool cgi with him making his crazy spear disappear it doesn't make it's, it's pointless wasted cgi terrible it's not a good fight scene I, you know i don't want to see the witcher get beat up by some loser who i've never seen him fight before and he loses in a physical contest not even in like a, like the okay if the wizard blasts you into oblivion with all his wizard spells it's like fighting the emperor there's not much you could do when he's throwing lightning bolts at you. You just kind of have to take it. I get that. But in a physical battle, you beat up the Witcher. Get out of town. Anyway, I didn't like it. If you liked it, again, I'm okay with that. I'm not telling you not to like it. I'm just here to air my grievances. Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for giving me a second chance as I botched the first one. I do apologize. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It's up here. We stream it live. Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a lot of fun. Come party with us. You can also get the audio version. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. Join the Orc Nation or the Orcversity or whatever you want to call us. But as for myself, I am on to the next one. Ah.